Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Adam, you're right. Hi, Captain. I'm a 30-year-old male, originally from Serbia, though I've been in the U.S. for more than half my life now. I work at a manufacturing plant in Tennessee. Yes, they still have a few of those around. By pure accident and not some early red pill knowledge, I never ended up going to college as a youngster as I didn't know what degree to pursue. Smartest move you could have made and therefore have no student debt. But with my newly acquired knowledge about economics of the past few years, I'm ready to step it up and give it a shot as I want to make more money. I'm fully sold on trying to get one of the engineering degrees and nothing else. I also fully accept your view of pursuing a profession that will make you money rather than doing it because of some love or passion for it. Oh, 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 excuse me. With that said, my question is I have no interest in wasting four years of my life on a college. On college at my age, I only want a two year associate's degree. Which type of engineering discipline do you think is the best for a two year degree? And by best, I mean having lots of job prospects and making you a decent amount of coin. Please let me know the price. I already sort of know the answer from research, but still find value in hearing the perspective of the capitalist asshole. Thanks in advance. All right, well, thank you, Vladimir. Here's the deal. You, <clears throat> if you don't want to go to college for two years, you only want your associates, you're going to have to go to one of your trades. That's how it is. Because as it's laid out right now, they want to dog fuck you for the first two years of your four-year degree so we can employ all the worthless uh, advanced graduate to graduates in the liberal arts. Which is why you got, even though you should have had this back through K through 12, after 13 years of high school, you'd think you'd be a critical thinker or be able to read and write the English language, but apparently not. You still got to take English comp as a freshman in college. So your first two years of a four-year degree are basically just going to be pissed away, all right? Uh, so if you want something practical in two years, it's a trade school or a certification, or you don't even bother going to trade school. school. You go the IT route. And go get, uh, you know, well, it's not even the, what is it, VMware certification. You learn a language, Python or something like that. You could go the computer networking route, CCNA, although those are getting uh, increasingly, uh, increasingly uh, less valuable. But <coughs> you can go online, find out what the, the hottest, latest IT certifications are, and then you go and you do self-study on that. But if you do want to go to college and you get some kind of two-year degree, it's going to have to be the trades. Welding, plumbing. Uh, electrician ship, whatever else have you, or you go talk to the unions and you get trained by them. All right, that's the only way, really. That you, in other words, if you go major in pre-engineering, you get your two-year degree in pre-engineering, and so what? You you know calculus, and maybe you know a little bit of physics, and maybe you got your basic chemistry class out of the way. Ooh, good for you. You're not going to be employable. Um, so if you want to get a four-year degree, or you want to do something a little bit more serious than a trade, not that the trades aren't serious. Uh, you're going to have to go in one of the fields of engineering, uh, mechanical, uh, chemical, electrical, avoid petroleum for now. You could maybe do aerospace, kind of, eh. but you know, go look up your starting salaries. Now, the good news is you want to be in STEM. So, whereas I know you're, you're saying you're not, you know, you, you don't really want to follow your passion. It's not, you just want the money. Well, the good thing about majoring in STEM is that, okay, you're in, you're in the right ballpark, so you can choose what is interesting to you, as long as it's in STEM. Don't say, I like children. You're not that dumb fucking idiot broad who graduated, you know, at 18 and thought, I just like children. I gotta work with children. You don't have to worry about that. You're in STEM. So pretty much anything you choose, bar the tricky ones, like bio anything, or something that would be out of favor in the labor market immediately, say petroleum engineering or aerospace depending on you know if there's military cutbacks um, yeah you're 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 gonna do all right so you know it's to address your immediate concern if you want only a two-year degree something in IT some kind of trade <laughs> auto mechanics something that that'll get you a job right out and maybe a little bit more pay what you're doing now you could also do certifications and self-study that's another thing you could do where you don't have to go to school but if you're going to go to a two-year community college where they're just going to force you to take prereqs, then you might as well lock and load yourself in for the full haul, the, the total haul, the four-year degree, and choose one that pays the big bucks and the big money. Right? And then what, what that is, totally up to you. 
because they're all pretty good. They're all pretty good fields that are gonna pay you money in the end. So do not just, well, this is the highest amount of money, I'm gonna go do that, you know? You know, take your physics and your chemistry and your computer programming classes in the first, you know, your two-year uh, college degree. And all of a sudden, you really like programming. Well, that's telling you something. Or you really like chemistry. Well, there may be chemical engineering. But don't just necessarily go straight for money. We're, we're STEM. We get to choose. So Anyway, best of luck to you. Toodles.